Harvesting and saving what they leave. Hello, welcome to Seven Savings Garden, where we talk about gardening, ways to save money, and other special events. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. So today we're gonna be harvesting, uh, harvesting what they leave and saving what they leave. So I'm gonna we're gonna show you the process of harvesting what they leave. Uh, and then how we save it and use it for the whole year. So right now we're just harvesting what they leave in the greenhouse And as you can see, we're just harvesting by the tips uh, Of the water leaf, which is the soft part of the water leaf that we're gonna use. So usually some people just um, ha Harvest including the hard part and then cut the hard part later But what we do is just harvest by the soft part and leave the rest to continue uh, producing more water leaf so the new heads are gonna come out from uh, from the heads that we leave in there so we we have seen just the tips of all the water leaves in the greenhouse and outside and then we're gonna go to the next process
Okay, this is what we've harvested today. Uh, we've harvested a lot of water leaf. This is great. Uh, definitely uh, good for the second. This is the second harvest that we're doing. Uh, so definitely much better. Uh, the third the third harvest or uh, our harvest going forward is gonna be much bigger than this. So this is quite a lot of water leaf. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start fixing it. And fixing it is we're taking uh, the, uh, the, just the tip off, uh, the tip that usually has some flowers and or has some buds that are already producing flowers. We're just going to take those tips off uh, before we go to the next uh, part of the process. So we're just going to go through and go through each of them and just take out the tip. Um, if you don't want um, to have uh, the tips like that, you can have it still very early. Uh, but sometimes it's difficult to harvest it very early without the tips or because the tips start coming out if you let it grow uh, much longer the tips are going to start coming out and that's where you're going to get your seeds uh, if you want to get seeds you're going to leave it uh, and it's going to continue growing and then the seeds are going to develop from those uh, buds and then you're going to have seeds so now we're done um, fixing it now we're just going to wash it Washing it is going to take away, uh, take out any sand or soil or anything um, uh, on in the uh, in the water leaf leaves. So we're going to wash everything, and then once we wash everything, uh, then we can uh, go to the next step of the process. So now we're just using water, adding more water to it, and then once it's fully uh, overflowing, and uh, once yes, yeah, just laughing. Uh, once once it's done overflowing, uh, then we're just going to soak it like that. You just press it in or you just shake it in the water and then we're going to take it out. Actually, this uh, water leaf is not too dirty. Um, uh, usually when it rains and the, the rain uh, splash the soil on the leaves or on the water leaf, that's where you get a lot of soil. So this one is not too dirty. It hasn't rained the past uh the past four three or four days so it's uh quite clean so um it's just gonna take out any soil or dirt or anything that's uh on the leaves or on the water leaf itself either from uh birds and insects or or from uh just watering it and the soil splashing on the leaves so after washing it like that we're just gonna take uh we're gonna take the uh, the water leaf out of that and then putting back in the bowl uh, where we're gonna um, go to the next step so let me know in the comments below if you've grown water leaf and what you do um, uh, how you save your water leaf uh, i like to know different ways of doing it but uh, this freezing uh, is the only way i know how to save water leaf because of the nature of the um the vegetable but um, just let me know in the comments below what you think about it and if you've grown water leaf or you try, you you've done um you've done this and saved water leaf if there's anything different that we're doing that you're not doing or that you, we are not doing that you're doing so now what we're doing is we are rearranging the uh it's just putting the two heads the heads together so that we can easily cut it so rearranging is just taking the uh, either the leaves or the stem and just put them together so that it's easy to cut um you can use a cutting board uh, to cut to cut it uh, but most often uh, they just cut it like that so we're just gonna go through everything and then just organize it re uh, rearrange it again so that way it's much easier to cut once they are all the heads are together and the the leaves and the stems are together like this on the left uh, and that's what they're gonna do we're gonna do and make sure that everything is organized before we uh, before we start cutting so that is uh that's the process so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start slicing or cutting the water leaf and like you said you can use the cutting board to cut it into little tiny pieces or you can just do it the old-fashioned way and this is how they do it uh they just cut it with a knife like that and even though it might it might look risky but it's something that they've um we've been done doing it for a long long time and that's how they regularly do it they don't have a cut, cutting board they don't use most people don't use cutting board to cut what they leave we just use our hand like that and just with a knife and you just go around and you, you just want to cut it into small tiny pieces so that way one it's 
uh, when you're preparing it's much easier it much mixes much better with the arrow and and that's why you cut you cut into pieces like that so instead of leaving very big leaves it's much better to cook arrow uh, you want to make sure it's cut into small pieces you can cut it in, into even smaller pieces but that's uh, that's just doing extra work the pieces like this is fine um, you can just uh, do that some people cut it a little bit bigger than this all depends on you um, if you want to cut into smaller pieces or medium sized pieces that's all up to you so that's um, cutting uh, cutting the cutting is completed now so now next thing we're gonna uh, do is this is the slice what the leaf that's what is sliced you can see everything is sliced now so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make sure that uh, we package it um, we use a ziploc bag um, you can use other bags or other vacuum seal or whatever you have right now we're just gonna package it and we're using a ziploc bag uh, I'll put a link in the description the type of bags that you need to use uh, because not all ziploc bags are made for the freezer so you want to get a freezer one that's gonna be able to maintain the quality of the um, of the item you put in the in the freezer bag so we're gonna put put it in the freezer bag and then we're gonna freeze it so that way we can use it anytime we need it we can just use it and what you can also do is you can just put a quantity that's gonna be enough for one dish or one uh, cooking uh, you can do that or you can just put everything into one but if what we usually do is just separate it into um, like different sizes so that way you can if you want to prepare an, a dish um, it, all of it is just gonna go into one and you can prepare that dish with that one instead of defrosting it and then separating it into uh, two and then using pad so that's that's what we do we just put everything into a bag and that's ready for the freezer so this is it we're, we're gonna just seal the, the, the top and then we're gonna freeze it so usually this is what comes out this is once we prepare the arrow this is what it comes out or this is what uh, uh, the arrow looks like uh, the vegetable mixed with arrow itself and with some fish or meat and it's delicious love it so this is how it looks this is what it looks like and you will use fufu right here this is a finished dish uh, this is uh, water fufu they call it water fufu and arrow you, or you can just do, do fufu and arrow and it's a delicacy and it's something that you can find anywhere around here okay that's it let me know what you think about the video i hope you like the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share thanks for watching happy growing